everybody, how's it going? I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. And today in Anime Reaction, we watch the 12th and, and final, final episode of Arrow Manga Sensei. Thank God. If you want to check out our reaction to the 12th and final episode of Arrow Manga Sensei, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga and don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Today we have the festival of fan service. That, that's all that I can describe this episode as. The so trashiest edgy. of trash. Oh, the God. edgiest of edgy. The sketchiest of sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically, it's now time for uh, Elf and Muramasa to come clean on their end of the deal. You get Onichan, uh, Aramanga gets your bodies. <laughs> Glorious. Glorious bodies. Actually, I'm a little surprised with the, uh, the drawings of... I, I can understand not recognizing Muramasa, but with the drawings of Elf, they kind of, you know, look like Elf. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised nobody, nobody on her little uh, live stream said that. Right. Also, that reminds me of that one picture from uh, um, Bakarwa Mina Kawaiso hmm. when they were oh, playing yeah, with yeah, the water were. guns and uh, Igaritsu with the what? little frog. Uh, Frog Rain guy. slicker. I wouldn't mind seeing Ritsu in that pose. But we get off, and that's just as nice. Mm. Too many but yeah, balls. Yeah. They come over, and uh, naturally, Elf never told Muramasa about the deal. What a troll. What a troll. <laughs> Class A. Um, and then. Yeah, they. I mean, they, yeah, they basically they have to do whatever Sagiri asks them to do. What's the problem, Mayor Rock? You can have an exercise ball, but it'll just be yourself to pose on it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, uh, I like Mar or uh, Masamune's uh, imagination. And then he's uh, thrown out of the room. Well, yeah, they needed to change into <laughs> swimsuits. <laughs> Um, yeah. Poor bastard. Poor, poor bastard. Hey, his imagination's good enough to cover for it. Yep. That wrestler's bridge, though. That's very, right? very well done. Uh, yeah, it, like, that part came up, and I was just like, how? How did you get yourself into that position? Plain twister. Right hand red, left leg, leg blue. blue. I love to play this, this game, game with you. I just, I just hope you can't feel my boner twister. Otaku Saga is not in any way affiliated with the Twister board game. I mean tornado. Tornado. The tornado game. Yeah, yeah. The generic game where you put limbs on dots. Fuck you, pay us. <laughs> <laughs> you demon. If you fall, you get you have to strip a piece of clothing. Yes! Mmm. Best house rule ever. Um, but then Sagiri gets distracted because uh God, I keep forgetting Doorbell her rings. Yeah, the, and the, um, girl the, the, yeah, the girl from the bookstore. Girl from the bookstore comes over uh, to talk with Masamune Tomoe. Thank you, Sketchy. Tomoe. Miss not appearing in this series except for the yeah, last episode. Yeah, Miss hardly appears in this series. Hmm. Um, but she came over for two reasons. Number one, to tell uh, Masamune her opinion about his new book. And then... Yeah, I kind of wanted to see her modeling, too. Like, oh, come on. Come on in. <laughs> She'd be totally be down for it. And the other thing was to give Masamune <laughs> a copy of the new doujinshi based on his book. Damn, that was quick. Yeah. That well, was I mean, he, he he even said that it was quick, but, uh, yeah. but you know, she pointed out that his book, he did write a short story version of his, mm. of his novel. So that that's why everybody knew about it already. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, I, I love uh, I love Sagiri in the background. Mm, so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is porn. And <laughs> ah! <laughs> she gets even happier. Right. Actually, those are some of my favorite Sagiri moments in this episode. It's not when you have like those ungodly adorable close-up shots, but when she pokes her head out of shit. 
Right. Like at the end or on the staircase here. Yeah. She looks like a little diglet. <laughs> diglet, dig, diglet, dig. Um, oh, yeah. Now, yeah, you get that part where Tomoe covers it up by saying, you know, if you get rich, yeah, then I wouldn't mind becoming your wife. You think that that was unexpected? Uh, I didn't find that unexpected, but I like that little, like, when he says, you're only in it for the money, and you get that little smirk where you know that she was... Yeah, she was kidding, she was the kidding about the money. Yeah. M kidding about the money bit of it. Yep, got to keep the harem train rolling. But, yeah, I, I liked it. Of course you liked that expression, Gasly. Of course. But, yeah, then we get this nice fight between... Masamune and Sagiri. Oh yeah, Sagiri tries to hold She wants to see beat. the doujinshi, but he won't let her because she's too young. It's a porn book, and she's twelve. <laughs> <laughs> she is not pleased about it at all. Right. Arrow right. manga sensei wants her porno. Damn it. Yeah. What and does she do for a living again? Yeah. She finally gets it and becomes Shiro Neko. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like that when he tries to grab it back and she starts hissing and. Uh, Ow! Oh my god. Yeah, hissing and uh, growling at him. And then he <laughs> says, What are you, a cat? And of course, my brain, because Sagiri is voiced by the same voice actress that voiced uh, Sistine. And my mind instantly went, Ah, Shio Neko. I see. <laughs> if that was the intention, Shiro then Giri. well done on a very, very subtle reference there. Yeah, that, that was, I think that was probably a very vague coincidental reference. Yeah. Mm. But, uh... <laughs> and at this point, um... The expressions in this episode were just priceless. Muramasa are still holding still the same the, pose. Yeah, still holding their poses. And completely break... Well, that's it. Game's over. Now you all strip. <laughs> but, uh... That is impressive, really. But fortunately, um... I'd you, love to know, you, too. Unfortunately, they ended up like putting now. on clothing, because they were in the, back in their original clothing afterwards. Yep. But, uh... Leave that to the doujinshi artists the, to answer Marok's question there. <laughs> but, yeah, so then, not to be outdone, Sagiri decides that she wants to draw... A uh, arrow dojinshi, yeah, of her own work, <laughs> and in record time too. Right? God damn. Unfortunately, she can only draw what she knows, and she, you know, she can only draw what she sh uh, she's seen in real life, and that doesn't include male anatomy or uh, sex, uh, apparently. Because uh, not only is it the wrong shape but it's going in the wrong place. Yeah, I like the censorship. Oh, <laughs> it's like, okay, loving tender mo- loving tender mo- Wow! Right? <laughs> Wait till the boot race. <laughs> <laughs> that, that little bit right there. <laughs> it's, it came on so unexpectedly, and the dialogue was so rapid fire, it's like, is this stick a little off? Well, it's, just, it's one of those things that I like for um, uh, Yuchi, uh, what's his name? Yoshi Tsuga Matsuoka. Yeah. The the voice actor that does uh, Masamune. I, lo I love in series that he does when he when he breaks to those like I guess it's supposed to be um, sort of like calm kind of heroic sounding voice or something like that. Like a, a bishonen. Yeah, like sort a of. Beach, bishonen sounding voice. Mm -hmm. I, I always love those parts because he, he just makes it fucking hilarious. It's Actually, uh, Pillwalker, I think at this point, uh, Sagiri hasn't seen it ever. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't think that Sagiri's ever... I'd imagine every time she no. would have came close, it'd be like uh, the, well, the end of the credits this episode. Yeah, just I mean, because you runs. don't even get like a, like a Megami situation where she's seen her fathers before when she was young and they took baths together or whatever. Because when she was growing up, her parents were divorced. And she lived only with her mother. Yeah, she lived only with her mother. So, I mean, you wouldn't even get that situation where she might have seen one. Yeah. Yeah. So. Volunteers. 
Oh god. <clears throat> um, but so Masamune is embarrassed about having to tell Sagiri that she drew the dick wrong, and so he's like, "Okay, uh, elf, you read it and see and tell her what's wrong with it." Oh, I see nothing wrong with this. Yeah. Uh, I read through it. There's something wrong with it. Oh, Tee-hee. fuck, she doesn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> so they decide to find out for themselves. Heh, uh, heh, heh. <laughs> and for this, I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> <laughs> buck, naked, buck, buck naked, naked, buck, naked. <laughs> right? Bah, ha, ha. I mean, what? Our series. <laughs> it's still rape if it's mutual. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just surprise sex. So... Masamune decides that he is going to uh, phone a friend. Actually, uh, the like part leading up to that, we get another one of uh, Yuchitsuga Masuoka's really funny voices, mm-hmm. where he's like, he does that like really light voice. Oh, please, yeah, be gentle. Yeah, basically. He's uh, let's, let's stop things like this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Turns from Masamune to Belcoon. But, but yeah. in order to save himself, he decides to call in an expert. Oh, wait. Uh, so he calls uh, Megumi. Oh, my God. And she's playing with her little brother. Or she puts it, she's with a boy right now. Uh, Praising, bitch. Praising. He right. knew exactly what she was doing. Right. But, um... So she decides to draw a sketch... To send over. It turns out she's a worse mangaka than Rukia from Bleach. Well, she drew her brother. That too. With a child penis. Mm. This is what a dick looks like. My dick looks like this. You're so happy about it. Though. Right? <laughs> and at, at this point, um, Muromasa gets sick but, of it. Well, see, the thing about that pill walker is you have to remember Japanese laws require genitals to be censored. Mm -hmm. Even on hardcore porn. So it's not like... I mean, you could get around it, but... Well, I did that when you got Muramasa. Yeah, I'm sure that they wouldn't (laughs) think about that. Yeah. So Muramasa, she gets sick of it, decides to be the mature one, and perfectly sketches Michelangelo's David. Goddamn. That that was impressive. What the hell? You know, I actually have no idea about health education resources. Hmm. There should be, yeah. Well, I imagine it's not going to be a photorealistic image. More like... It'd be like comparing an actual, like, uh... An actual map to, like, a subway system map. I love Muramasa's face. <laughs> Where she's like, this is this is not even amusing. Right. <laughs> I'm looking more at the other two. All right. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of the smirk from Aqua in that episode of Konosuba. The Holy Sword Excalibur. <laughs> uh, Muramasa, you perverted uh, adult light novel author. Yeah. <laughs> She's definitely the closet freak. But yeah, that uh, that more or less Everybody else off. is way out in the open. <laughs> that more or less finishes off our episode. Yeah. And everybody... Um, well, they leave, and you get a very low-key, subtle, but significant moment as uh, Mur- as uh, Masamune is seeing Muramasa and Elf off. The window opens. And, again, like a diglet. <laughs> there's Sagiri. A nice little show of uh, her getting over her Kikimori condition, if you will. Yeah. And again, oh, totally I forgot adorable. about the, uh, the, the bit at the beginning. I was just about to say... I was gonna let us finish and we we totally forgot in the beginning of the episode about the head pats <sighs> head pats make everything better yep um but yeah the, at the beginning Monsamune is having some writer's block because he's not used to writing romantic comedies and so he decides to ask Sagiri if he can head pat her hmm and he goes on way too long and embarrasses her. So naturally, he's the pervert. Well, he is the pervert. He is. So is she. Yep. It takes one and no one. Um, 
And then in probably the most, in probably the biggest surprise of the episode. <laughs> the credits? The credits. Ah, oh, the end of the credits. The end of the credits. Yeah, the, oh, I mean. That was glorious. That, yeah, that was so glorious just because, like, it was so unexpected for me. Oh, I just wasn't expecting it at all. And you'll yep. see in the reaction, none of us were. That oh, my God. That was, that was beautiful. Uh, well, well, well. Yeah, we'll just we'll just save it that way. Um, yeah, it, it just got me. Yeah. <laughs> so here's open for a season two, and pretty damn quick because I love this series. I want more. Uh, before we actually take off, uh, recently we got a comment on Arrow Manga episode eight. Oh. Uh, Donny B is no one disturbed by the fact that he's in love with his sister, or is this the new norm, or how the fact all these. Professional authors are just kids. Masamune should just roll with L for Muramasa and not go down the Yusuga no Sora path. Hmm. I can't disagree with you, which is why you do I do see that a lot. I, I can't necessarily disagree either. I also watch that show, Pill Walker. Yeah. It's definitely not something that would ever be okay for our channel. Let's put it that way. Um, <laughs> personally, I hate the incest route that this is going. But it's fiction. Yeah, it's it, fiction. It's and fiction. It's, and it's very common. And, and I, I also fiction. do want to point out that they, they're not actually related. Like the the the, the, in, the incest route in Oriemo, I never I never could even their blood tolerate Oriemo. that much because they are blood siblings. Yeah. Whereas here, it, they're not uh, related by blood, and. If you actually look at the series, they haven't actually been together, like lived together that long. I think they're, it said that their parents only married like a year before the series started or something like that. It wasn't that long. So like um, a similar situation with No Game No Life that you get between uh, Sora and Shiro. Yeah, that bothers simple. me because they've been together since I think she was like two or three. And so they, they've basically lived together their whole lives. And I, I feel that that's a much different situation than, like, this is. Hmm. Okay. Just, just because you, you form those family bonds. And then also, uh, well, with uh, being all professional authors at such a young age. That, that's the one thing about this series that, that does, like, get me. Like, it like some really tests my suspension of disbelief. Yeah, like, some uh, professions, I can sort of see it. Like, say, you know, being a child actor, or like a, a say or something like that. Well, I mean... Or being discovered it's as not, It's not, like, around. impossible or anything. It's just highly improbable that all these really popular authors are... I was about to say, in some professions, I can, I can see it. Writing isn't one of them. Yeah. I'd imagine that better writers need a, at least a little more life experience. The more life experience you get, the better that you're gonna that you're gonna be able to. Yeah, like Saikano, you know, with Uataha being a senior in high school, and uh, kind of bursting on the scene there, I can I can buy that a bit more than in their manga sensei. But the only real saving grace is that most of them only have only written like fantasy series. Mm. So, like, I, I can't really imagine uh, Masamune's new series that he's writing to go that well because he doesn't have a lot of that life experience of and again I mean know, I graduating can, high they, school yeah they can write the that. stories but and all that but I don't see them writing stories good enough to warrant anime adaptations and you know being able to own their own house yeah at their tender young ages it's so. very hard to believe but again this it's is anime, anime and in anime there's a real emphasis on youth yeah so so young enough not to pay taxes, oh man! As be able to save up all that scratch tax free. Well, actually, no. It would, yeah, Still. it would never be tax free. Yeah, that's true. Especially since all of them are basically emancipated. So anyway, I mean, you'd still have to pay income taxes on it at the very least. Yeah, true. Anyway, though. Yeah, um, yeah I just figured I. I'd I'd at least uh, talk about talk about that comment because yeah, you do kind of run into that a lot in anime. Probably the biggest gripe that I have with this series is just that how far I need to suspend my disbelief. Well, that can go for a whole multitude of anime series as well. So 
Anyway, I think that, like, that's the whole awesome. series would have made more sense to me if they were five or even, you know, even just five years older. I, I think tail end of their high school years. Well, like Masamune being in college, perhaps. Um, okay. Even the younger characters, like Sagiri being tail end of high school, I think would have made it better, a little more. But believable. then it wouldn't be as cute. Yeah. I think we should explore this whole theme of youth <laughs> in a podcast. I think it would make a decent topic. Yeah, probably. But anyway. Oh, yeah, but, and then I want uh, one more thing before we take off. Yeah. I talked about it in the opening that um, Sagiri, her her pen name, Aramanga Sensei, mm. she didn't name it Aramanga Sensei because of porn books. <laughs> it never said it in the series proper, and it kind of bothered me because they... They talked about it uh, in the first novel. But they never That's like one of the first the things that, that Masamune asks her when when he finds out that she's Aramanga Sensei. Mm. She named her, she chose her pen name based off of an island. I believe it's in the South Pacific. That it it's not a Japanese island, but it's right. literally called Aramanga. Hmm. hmm. So a little bit, a little bit of wordplay there. A little bit of a little bit of wordplay, but she didn't. She didn't um, intend it to be an etchy Arrow name. Yeah. Manga. She didn't intend it to be an etchy name, and she realized it after she got popular with the name. Hmm. This warrants some research, I think. <laughs> anyway, nice bit of trivia there. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. It's just one of those things. I kind of expected them to say it at some point in this anime, but they never did. Etchy name or not, she still draws loot art. Indeed. And how. Anyway, so um, let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. But that's going to do it for this series on anime reaction. I'm DK, and uh, I can't wait for season two. I'm Zero. And he can. <laughs> uh, and I'm Rizzo. See, see you, you next, next time. And go ahead and click on my face to go to our most recent Otaku Saga Talks. Click on my face to go to Otaku Saga Gaming, our gaming channel. And click on the waifu to subscribe to Otaku Saga. And if you'd like to help support us, please go ahead and check out our Patreon page.